So today I'm just going to do like my new face quick tutorial on um, because I just got the, well, I just got again the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. Um, so I'm just going to do like a quick face tutorial on how I like to use it. Um, and because I like to do my eye makeup before I put this stuff on, and I'll give you the reasons why, um, I'm just going to do some quick eyes. So here we go. Um, I hope y'all like my new area because my videos have been skipping. So I have to talk slower, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to take my laptop to Mac to see what they have to say, but... First, I'm going to take the bisque. This is the new formula, so all of these have the cool little tops that close. You can see like the little dots. And then you just twist it. And they open. Which is kind of cool, because before that was like my number one thing, is they were always so messy. So I just flip it upside down and I tap a little bit to get a little product out. And then I like to take like a concealer brush. I think this is this is one of the e.l.f. brushes. I liked it because it was a little bit more stiff. And I just sweep a little product around on there. And then I just go right underneath my eyes. And I do my lids too because usually if I'm using this, it's because I don't have time to sit and do like a real, not a real makeup, but I have time to like sit down and do a million different kinds of um, concealers and highlighting and stuff like that. I also have a breakout spot right here, so I'm going to get him too. Oh, maybe I should grab another mirror. Give me just a second, guys. That was great, right? Everybody's got to love that. Um, and then I take the brush that they give you. Um, I bought, I was an idiot when I first started using this stuff. I bought like a million kits because you can buy like the starter kit. I, I, I think I bought two. Like I bought one and then I ran out of everything and I was like, what am I going to do? So I bought a second one and I ended up getting doubles of brushes. But the, the good thing is the first set of brushes were nice, but they were really, like, the bristles were really hard. The second set of brushes that I got, they're super, super soft, but this is, like, a dome brush that they give you. And I take this guy, and I just kind of blend a little bit just on the outside of where I put the bisque. All right. Um, so now, since I use satin eyeshadows um, and frosts, the problem that I've come to, because I always like to do my face makeup before I do my eye makeup, it's just a pet peeve that I have and it's what I like to do. Um, but with this makeup, since it's the matte, it doesn't have any shine or shimmer, which is amazing, but if I use a satin eyeshadow, it falls, the fallout, what little fallout I get, lights up my uh, underneath my eyes. I don't know why, but I mean, it's like I've put like... Burt's Bees Radiance Lotion on my face. It's just bright and glowy right here, which is a place that I don't want a whole lot of shimmer. Some people might. I don't. So I always do a little bit of concealer, and then I do my eyes, and then I do my face makeup, and then I do a little more if I need to. But today I'll be doing kind of like a green smoky eye using Max. I'm going to butcher this, Juxt, J-U-X-T, and then also using Humid, and one of my all-time favorites, Club. 
Oh, it's totally not doing it justice. I love this eyeshadow because it's like a brown iridescent. I love it. All right. So I'm just going to take, this is a Coastal Scents small dome brush. I'm going to pick up a lot of the pale green. And put it all over my eye. All over my lid. Even up into my crease a little bit because I feel like it helps with blending. Winchel wiper. Ew, 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 ew. I really hope this video doesn't skip because it's 8.30 in the morning and I would appreciate being able to load this. Oh, by the way, I graduated school. I dyed a front piece of my hair red. I'll take that down so y'all can see it later. And I'm working. I love my job. I like making people beautiful. I actually just dyed my sister-in-law's hair like flaming red. It's pretty hot. Not gonna lie. She looks pretty good like that. All right, when you've got, I have to, these, this shadow comes out fairly light because I believe it's a frost. So I just kind of have to pack a little bit on. But I think that looks good. All right, next, I'm going to take Human. And I'm going to take my big dome brush. A little fatter. A little fatter fluffier. My mother would say it was buff. You can see the difference. One's just a little bit bigger. I'm just going to pick up just a little bit on either side of my brush. And then I'm going to apply that to my crease and I'm going to blend up and into my lid. This is awful because I'm so far away, but we'll see how the video comes out. So I'm starting at my crease. Here we go, guys. Starting at my crease and just kind of blend, pushing, pushing the um, shadow down and up into my crease. And then blending, blending, blending. Sometimes if I feel like I've got too much product, instead of like wiping off my brush, I just move it to the other eye. Because for some reason I had a lot of product on my brush just now. But here we go. Windshield wiper! Hey, 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 hey. All right. I'm just darkening a little bit. I'll do the super defining um, with club. I just like multiple colors. So I just pick up just a little bit more product. And do the other eye. Once again, just pushing the colors together, spreading out the product, and blending. I don't know, I'm not big into like 40 different steps. So I try to get it all done with as little effort as possible. I know that sounds bad, but it's whatever. It's whatever. Alright guys, so when you think you've got your eyes pretty much even, well that looks funny. I did, I did. Um, when you think you've got them pretty much even, we'll move on to club. So what, <laughs> y'all are going to think I'm crazy. I like a super stiff blending brush. Like um. Uh, that's I just like a super stiff blending like angled brush and the only one that I could ever find that I really really liked is a painting synthetic bristle brush something about this brush I absolutely love and if anybody's like cares it's a number 12 by Princeton round blender I just love this brush it's synthetic I mean it's clean it's a, it's a makeup brush I mean a, a painting brush but I just, I love the way it feels. I love the blue handle. And I got a big blender too. I love them. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take club. And I'm just going to kind of roll the tip. 
in it just to get a little product on the end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and just kind of follow my line and my crease because I do everything kind of like in a wing. So I just follow the bottom of my wing and then move up into my crease. And if so, I want to, depending upon the day, I carry it down underneath my lid just a little bit. And then you just blend it in. This is just to kind of define your eye a little more. I love it. That's all I'm saying. See, it just gives it that little extra punch. I love it. Okay, now's on to the important thing that I actually was doing today, and that's face makeup. Um, now that I've done on that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fan brush and I'm going to wipe the underneath of my eye to get off all the excess, whatever might have fallen. And then I'm going to take some more bisque. And I'm just going to run it under. I'm not really trying to cover anything. I'm just trying to create coverage. This video is now 11 minutes. So let's hope it all loads up. So I take my fluffy brush. I get a little bit of product on the end. And I just buff it in. Pat, pat. I go on my nose because my nose is the parts on, on me that turn super, super um, red during the day. So I just like to buff a little concealer over it because I get red. I'm going to have to go super fast because it's going to not work. That way I don't get the um, satiny finish that I had before underneath my eyes. Next, I'm going to take my matte foundation, and mine is fair, duh, and I'm just going to tap a little out into the bottom, woo, smoke, stop, tap, 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 uh. no. All right, then I take my all-time favorite, favorite brush. This is the Bare Essentials, ID Bare Essentials brush. They call it a heavenly face. I like it because it kind of pushes the product in a little bit more than the rounder brush. I just tap on a little bit, tap off the excess, and buff in. This brush is like my favorite ever. And then I just blend, 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 blend. Sorry about that. I love this face makeup. It hasn't made me break out, which is awesome. Um, a lot of times, face makeups break me out really bad. And it matches my skin tone, which is big, big, big for me. Because most MAC um, concealer or foundations are, like, way too dark. Like, I have an NW15 sitting in my makeup bin. Because it's too dark. And I ran out of time, guys. So, stay tuned for the next one.